Hello. Hello and welcome my cancer friends to your clairvoyant alchemy reading for February 2017. Here we are, February already. First month is gone and we're already forecasting for March. So it's like, okay, let's see what's going on for you all. Um, and welcome cancer, your mantras I feel and the most thing that I adore about you all is that you're ruled by the moon. You're ruled by Luna. And, you know, I consider myself totally a, a priestess of the moon. I, I love the moon. And you're all about the motherhood, the family, the nurturer. You truly are emotionally sensitive in many, many ways, but yet, but, but, Fertilely nurturing, you know, you you are the the mother, you are the mother, and and I'm certain as a water baby, emotionally, you know, you you know you can feel what I'm talking about for you, and and I I also ascertain much with um your zodiac sign, Cancer, in the respect that I think you're very much like a Venus type of personality, you know, and this is no gender specific here male or female it's like you are the nurturer you are the creative one you 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 feel things because you are ruled by luna and so she does adhere to you more so but just understand that that's a beautiful thing okay that's like beautiful thing and 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 i i just love it first card in my head I, I truly adore your sign, Cancer, and the Cancer folk that I have met. They really, truly are that that um, healing type of people. They they truly are. They're you know mothering is what I can say again, and and I and it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Okay. All right, and we have and and then here we have some. Um, Eclipse is happening for February, my Cancer friends. And we have a lunar eclipse in the sign of Leo happening on the 10th of February. And then we also have a soul, a solar eclipse new moon in the sign of Pisces. Okay, a, a water sisterhood there, brotherhood. So February and also February 14th has the love of it for Valentine's Day. So you all... As cancer folk can relate to that too, because I'm sure that that touches your heart as well as many others. All right. Okay, so let us. Um, I have two cards already on the table as I was speaking. I I do want to share also that um, the high priestess has been a huge theme, and I I do want to kind of bring that up for this month of February. I usually just bring this paperwork out for my monthly readings, but the high priestess has been huge. And then I just got my little pocket astrologer. Forgive me. I, I'm not an astrologer. I follow cycles, but I, I don't, you know, my mind doesn't understand so much uh, about what's going on as who I follow, which I adore all my astrologers on the YouTube. I find them all fascinating and beautiful, but I'm just trying to highlight here for the month of February, and I'm, I'm speaking out to you, Cancer, because ruled by Luna, this is a Pisces healer's moon, lunar in tone in the Mayan wisdom, which that's a whole different deal. I, I, I'm not, I don't want to get into this, but I am very, very fortunate that my birth date, March 11th, um, 1960, that I was born, I was my coded, I'm coded as a high priestess for the Mayan, okay? And so I study the Maya a lot. And it has wisdom beyond, but it's so, it, it's, um, you have to be like an astrophysicist to understand it in a way. It has a lot of science and mathematics behind it. But just understand, whenever I kind of just mention it, I don't think I'll ever study, uh, the Maya with this YouTube channel. If I do, I have done videos for the Maya wisdom, but it's so, it's like 
cosmic in the way that you really have to have uh, it's like intellect of a different deal I, I'm, I'm 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 just kind of sharing but i do want to share with you as well how the goddesses for this month are Brigitte, which is the celtic goddess that i do have done videos just for her we have the otter the eagle and the unicorn as the animals Kuan Yin, which i adore she's sitting right here my beautiful Kuan Yin. i have the water element of the mermaids uh, Diana, which is also Demeter, she's the archer, adore her, and Aphrodite, also known as Venus, okay, and the medicine is rising energy, purification, new growth, honoring and forgiving yourself, and self-love, this is why I wanted to, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I think I'm going to bring it out to everybody, this is the month, February, you know, usually it's known as the Valentine's Lovers Month, but whether you're married, single, you love you first, okay? You honor you, you respect you, and, and the universe will provide you that romantic love. Accepting responsibility, planning for the future, okay? So creative power is to polarize, action to stabilize, and, you know, I write things down, and, you know, actually when I write them down, I sometimes don't even know where it comes from, and that's the truth. All I know is that they want me to have pen and paper handy, and the words just come through, okay? And that's what they want for us all, to really tap the spirit, all right? We're going to tap spirit. This is the year, 2017. This is the year, this is the year the to, <clears throat> excuse me. This is the year where we are going to feel the alchemy of our seven senses, okay? We're going to feel it, just like you, my darling cancer friends. You feel. You are intuitive. You are emotional. You are sensitive. You are mothering. You are nurturing. And we're going to have this alchemy of our seven senses where we have that root chakra of survival. We're going to work with that. We're going to go with that sacral chakra of spirituality oh no doubt about it we will navel chakra of power the heart chakra of love the throat chakra of communication the brow chakra of intuition and the crown chakra of spirituality okay and there's many more others to go to there's like 11 but the 11 is totally you know it's like the 11 11 code is it's, it's the white light, bright light. I mean, like, you're there. So let's just start with the seven senses of alchemy, okay? All right, why don't we take an exhale out? It, it does help me. I, I hope you, you know, don't mind me doing this, but it does. So I'd like to take a strong exhale out, like a dragon's breath out, fire. Oh, my God. Look who's just come through, my darlings. I couldn't even do my breathing. <laughs> this 2017 is all about this right here. This Venus love. And I'm, you know, I, I'm an emotional being, no doubt about it. But I, I try to try to keep my charm going on, but. It's like, here she comes. This is 2017, okay? Jupiter in Libra, Venus power love. Hugs and kisses, be mine, I love you. Five. It's uh, wonderful, is what it is. Okay, hold on. So let me just think right here because I do six cards for the um, clairvoyant alchemy readings. Six is about harmonizing peace and karma. And my breath picked up that card, which is, has changed my focus right now in a beautiful way. <clears throat> I know 
my cancer. You see, look at this cancer. Look at her. She's pregnant with big belly, you know. She came out for you. She came out for you. I'm going to bring out another card. She's going to be our altar. A A L T E R. Altar. A L T A R. Goddess. Aphrodite, goddess Venus has come through for us. For our moon loving zodiac sign. Okay. It's beautiful. Ah. I, too, sometimes get so, because I don't, you know, when I do a reading, I literally sit here and pray and honor your the zodiac sign I'm going to read. You know, I, I, I try to tap it, you know, on this channel. That's what we do. We tap the metaphysics of life. But um, when, when it happens in my hand. Or, you know, and, and bringing the visualization. Because I could talk about Venus all day long. But it's not until when a, the, the cards come through and represent. And that's why I'm grateful. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I didn't expect that, obviously. You can see I'm in tuned. Okay, hold on. Welcome, energies of earth, air, fire, and water. Let us create a life of beauty, reverence, and wonder. With each season, let us rejoice through every phase of sun and moon. Let us be in harmony. In every direction shall we offer our love. And let the reading begin. Okay. And here we have sunset, winter, north, night, spring, east, dawn, summer, south, noon, fall, west. It's all about this, my darlings, the cycles. Okay, that's why, and this comes from my uh, uh, medicine woman deck, Native American. That's why they knew so much, you see. And I still, to think how they have been so dishonored by the white man, as they say. Okay, this is the first card. I'm, I'm still choked up that the Empress Venus is here because... She's representing you so much, Cancer. And this is for the males especially. Get that vibe going, my darlings. The Empress is super cool. Oh, my God. <laughs> Luna comes for you now, too. I have two major arcanas back to back. And here we are. Luna has come through. Her wolves are with her. You can see uh, even uh, the kind of crab or shrimp. or You know, you can see claws there as the mermaid comes through. This is fascinating. This is fascinating. When I do readings and their own trump card comes through, this is very powerful. And that already got choked up. That empress has come through. I, I got to tell you, it's a lot of love on this table right here for you all, okay? And a lot of, you know, big dreams. Big dreams, okay? Think big. Dream big. Put it out there. Don't have any insecurity, okay? Be ambitious and creative. Creativity is all about this empress right here. You can see she's even weaving, weaving at the time. You know, she's pregnant and weaving like she continues on. She doesn't stop. And it's all about nature with her. This is wonderful. She's all about that grace and that charm. And she is the most, you know, besides the high priestess, she is the next thing to the most glorious woman. Besides Luna, <laughs> feminine, receptive, all the way. How wonderful. That's just beautiful. 
that's just about receptive flowing. And and actually, I dropped the Pisces yesterday, and my computer went crazy on me yesterday. I couldn't even finish these videos. It was crazy. It's and it's just a new laptop. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just my computer went crazy last month, and it died on me, which was kind of like just a year old computer. So I had to get a new one. This is my new one, not even a month old, and I couldn't even upload the video. It took like two hours. I don't know. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm not techno, but you can see what power we have here coming for you, my cancer. This is very, very good. This is this is your month, my cancer friends. This is your month. Go for it. Eight of Wands. Here we go. Okay. So there's going to be power and success coming for you. No doubt about it. Here we have it. This is like you're going to also have mental power to accomplish any, any task. Any task. And this is like it's going fast. It's moving forward fast. Like you are, you're going to attain what, what's going to be happening for you. Okay. Whether it's your discretion or even the universe's input. It's going to be moving fast. But look at that. Look at that power. Those auras right through the water. Okay. And so, and emotionally, especially, you know, stand strong for whatever you have going on. Because it wants to behoove you. And I can't even believe that the Empress and the Moon is here. I mean, I believe it. I just am so appreciative of it and like i share when the trump card comes through and you're ruled by the moon my cancer friends and the empress i i've been talking about her for two years now years years this venus love it's it's amazingly beautiful i mean if you knew how i feel right now because i am very much you know, I can see things into the future, why I call this clairvoyant alchemy, but I feel more than anything sensitive. That is fabulous. And here we have the four of swords, the rest card. And this is, this is wonderful. This is another theme they've been sharing with me is to rest. Um, I don't sleep a lot in the respect. I'm, I'm, I don't need a lot of sleep, but I'm I'm taking that now time. I'm taking rests. Um, I'm learning how to be, um, you know, <laughs> I'm in my 50s now, but it's like I'm always kind of a go-go type personality. You know, like I, I love to dance and stuff. And it's like, I don't know. I, I, I don't need a lot of rest, but I feel it's very important for 2017. To go in, even even if you want to take that, you know, how we say an hour a day, right? Whether it's meditative time, nap time, uh, just just to lie down time. I think it's very important that that we do that. Okay, uh, no matter what age you are, it's 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 just sharing with with spirit, like spirit. I'm going to take this time with you. Okay, share it how you would like to, but you say spirit. Or whoever you know, God, well, you're the source force you follow. Just say, I, I'm taking this hour to be with you. Give me some messages, send me signs, and then you pray on what you want to be delivered, okay, to you, and 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 make sure that you do it lovingly. And and you are Cancer. You are the most loving of the zodiac signs. And the chariot comes through. What? <laughs> well, this is your trump card, okay? <laughs> Cancer. You're ruled by Luna. But the chariot is your trump card. I mean... When I was saying that, you know, you're ruled by Luna. Yes, this Trump card, this Tarot card, the moon is all about you. But the chariot is your Trump card. It's about protection. 
and surrounding yourself with defenses, okay? But it's the balance as well. And look at these two unicorns. I mean, we just said how the unicorns are the totem animals of this month. Otter, eagle, and unicorn. And now your trump card comes through honoring the two unicorns. This is magnificent. This is like, this is, this is, I mean, you know, I'm all about Venus this year, or I've been for years, but in the respect, you know, 2012, when the Venus transit happened, that changed my life, okay? I was so, I even made a video, I, my voice was even totally different. I, I somehow, I moved into something else that time, but now this is wonderful. Okay. I'm sorry. It's like, I know I have to sometimes calm myself down because I get a little jacked up. I know I do, but this is so beautiful. Seven, the most spiritual number that we have. And here it comes for you. And this is all about family and nurturing and the challenge of relationships. But we learn to balance, and you can see the yin yang symbol there, and the stars, and he has music that he's playing, and you can see he's singing. Uh, it's moving fast, though. Things are going to be moving fast this February. So you need to take that time out. Time out. Time out is good. Even, you know, for children, I think, you know, they need that. It's like in, in, in daycare, you know, they, they have their naps. They take their time to settle them down. And and we need that. And I'm learning that as well. I truly am because I'm sort of a night owl. But no, I'm, I'm learning that as well. But definitely, definitely, I definitely take time every day to meditate. And sometimes I don't even turn on the technology at all. <laughs> I mean, I... I could spend hours here with nothing on, and I'm okay with that. All right. Ninjio, astral light and an image of the world and oneness integrates the two, them and you. Okay, and back in the day, I wrote the us universe. So here we are. And we see the fish here and the seahorses. 52, 5 and 2 is 7. And here we have the Nereid holding to the ideal while endeavoring to attain it will help to realize it. Okay, so we have a merman as well now. So I like when I see the male active. <laughs> and look at this. 52, 5 and 2 is 7, and 16, 1 and 6 is 7. Okay, my darlings, this is really deal for you, Cancer. The seven is important. This month is very important for you to flow and fly. No doubt about it. Okay. This month, and we'll close with, uh, because I brought out the same deck for all the zodiac signs, the life purpose, because we are now in, entering 2017. And we really want to focus and dream big this year. We want to focus on what our career plan is, our life purpose, and the respect that we um, love what we do. Okay. That's, that's a big, huge theme that's been coming out for a couple years now on this channel as well. But I'm just amazed what I'm seeing here with this, um, scenario. Okay. Let's read about this card here by the author, uh, Jillian Kemp. And I have another deck by her. I don't use too much, but I like this deck. The key word is fortitude. By plucking up courage and refusing to be disheartened, confused, or muddle-headed, in accordance with your liking, you will get your wish. Wish, wish big. Look up to Luna when you make those wishes, those manifestations, okay? And we have eclipses this month, so you embrace who you're ruled by, Cancer. Someone fishing for compliments may be laying a bait for praise and fit for neither one nor the other. The ninjio represents the discarding of baseness and sacrifice of the lower for the highest. 
And you can see these, these fishes swimming up. It is a psychic creature whose penetrative swimming movement indicates a heightening of power. The Ningio represents knowledge of the truth by lifting the mind to original purity. It advises knowing how to fish in the soul, S-O-U-L, fishing in your soul, for in so doing, you will advance in the world across an ocean of unformed possibilities. Wow, that's kind of strong there. I don't work with this deck a lot, so I'm not very familiar in the respect, but let's see what the Nared has to say. This male um, merman here. Okay, fairness. And I wrote back in the day. I see. And I've said it. I've shared it on my channel. I come from the moon. <laughs> I believe. I love the moon. With paternal certainty, the Nereid, a kindly, helpful old man of the sea, predicts that the tide will turn to your advantage. Someone unexpectedly introduces change from without, so help and advice flow your way. So let me repeat this. Someone unexpectedly introduces change from without, so help and advice flow your way. Because the Nereid only knows thoughts of justice for those in trouble seas. Okay, and justice. Here we have that. I'm seeing Libra. Jupiter and Libra is the balance for this year. It's, it's wonderful. It's wonderful. Being versatile and deserving a fair play, you may confidently introduce change and profit from the gamble. The things really can be transformed. You are as powerful as the fair female Nereid who can marry a mortal and change into a fish, animal, burning flame, or fluid wave. <laughs> your will is easily achievable and your wishes can become reality. So have faith. Have faith, okay? Wow, that, that was kind of strong right there. Sure enough. All right, so we have now, we have that universe energy, the male energy, that the chariot, your trump card with the moon is here, is, and that Venus came through, the empress, the, mo the mother of, you know, mothers is the empress. I don't know how you did that, Cancer, <laughs> but I love it. I love it. I truly do. That's pretty awesome. What's come through for February. And, you know, as a reader, I, it gives me, like, faith and hope as well. Because the most beautiful cards that I, as a reader, could have pulled for your sign came through. And it's like, I do feel... That the universe is working with me. And I love it. Talk to your angels. Instead of worrying. Ask for divine guidance. And there it is. There it is. Talk to your angels. And that is the most beautiful thing you can do. You know. I don't. I don't it's not like I'm talking about myself. But I. Since a little girl was raised with angels. You know. Raised Catholic. Angels. 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 And I do. I, I still even have angels that I talk to from a little girl. So it's like you, you need to believe in them if you don't. But as a cancer, I know you do. Okay, talk to your angels instead of worrying, ask for divine guidance. This card serves as a reminder that you can ask your angels for help and guidance in any area of your life. You most likely drew this card because you've been worrying or complaining lately. The angels teach that worry never improves any situation and may actually worsen things through the law of attraction. Fortunately, you can turn any worry into a prayer. And I believe in prayer. I, I pray every day. That is change a low energy worry. For instance, in quotes, I don't know how I'm going to pay my bills. Uh, unquote, into a positive prayer such as, quotes, thank you, God, for helping provide for my family's needs, unquote, or, quote, 
please guide my steps so that I make money in meaningful ways. And I'm just, that's what it says right there. Okay, quote, unquote, quote, unquote. Prayers allow God and the angels to intervene in your free will choices. First, they will boost your mood and faith, which will help you feel happier and more peaceful. Then they will lend you and aid you in miraculous ways, such as giving you intuitive urges to take certain action steps. And this this is also 2017 is all about intuition. Okay, we we cannot deny the alchemy of our seven senses, our chakras. Okay, we can't deny that voices come to us. We can't deny that we feel things. We can't deny that anymore. Okay. This is truth. Together, you and heaven co-create the answers to your prayers. And that's why we talk about aligning with the divine. Okay? We want to we wanna embrace heavenly love towards us. Okay, please always remember that your creator wants you to be happy, healthy, and safe, just as any loving parent does. You, like everyone, deserves to be helped so that you have the time and energy to devote to your life purpose. And look at that. This is all about life purpose. So my dear cancer friends, what a lovely read you received today that the even, you know, the angels have come through to talk to you about sharing with them and, and, and that the moon came through and that you're, Chariot number seven is, that's so inner harmony. That's like, and this is very psychic card as well. You know, it's like literally he's he's doing this. Uh, the chariot is being pulled by his intuitive senses. Like you can see he's not holding any reins here. It's like literally his unicorns, his unis are with him in alignment. The black one, the white one. And yet he, he is just literally moving forward and la luna is all about intuition okay that's all about intuition and i embrace that you you know go for it go for and imagination is another word that's huge for february 2017 so use your imagination use your intuition dream big okay and go into go into that um a little bit with Luna here now, that is being secretive, okay? You know, the high priestess, the magician, they all do things secretive because it's, when you tap spirit, when you try and tap spirit, it's it's not something really that you can share with many people. And that's why I honestly always feel people should be solitary practitioners, okay? Not going into covens or anything like that. That's nothing positive comes from that. I've never heard or seen anything positive come out of that. But when you go within and cancer, you can do this. I mean, it's right here for you. you tap your tap. Read about the seven of the chariot card. Read about your moon ruler. Read about it. Okay. Because this is like, I can't recall. <laughs> and you know, I, I do I uh, love doing readings, but the Empress came through for you, pregnant, family nurturer. Here she is, weaving, making things out of nature. And here that you receive these two cards is, is very, very powerful. It's like the universe is directly talking to you now, and you can do it. And feel it, my sensitive, emotional cancer friends. I just love this reading. And much love to you in February. Happy Valentine's Day. Make it wonderful, really. Um, your, your forces are here. Your forces are right here. And I, I just think it's fabulous. Ciao.